Introduction Hello and welcome to today's video on Broadbent's filter model of attention. In this video, we will be exploring what this model is all about, its key features, as well as its advantages and disadvantages. Let's dive in. Definition Broadbent's filter model of attention was first introduced in 1958 by Donald Broadbent, a British psychologist. It is a model of attention that suggests that humans have a limited capacity to process information and that attention acts as a filter to select the most important information to attend to while ignoring irrelevant information. Features According to the filter model of attention, the human brain has a limited capacity to process information and therefore, attention is necessary to help filter out irrelevant information so that the most important information can be attended to. When we pay attention to something, we are choosing to focus on it and not be distracted by other things around us. But sometimes, there are too many things going on and it's hard to decide what to pay attention to. This is where the filter comes in. The filter in this model works like a gatekeeper that allows only selected information to pass through while ignoring irrelevant information. It's kind of like a bouncer at a party who only lets in the people who are invited, and keeps the people who aren't invited out. One of the key features of the filter model of attention is the concept of selective attention. This means that the filter is capable of selectively attending to certain information while ignoring other information. This is important because it allows us to focus on the most important information and not become overwhelmed by the sheer volume of information available to us. Another feature of the filter model of attention is that it suggests that the filter is flexible and can be adjusted depending on the circumstances. For example, if we are in a noisy environment, our filter will be adjusted to allow us to focus on the most important information despite the noise. Advantages One of the advantages of the filter model of attention is that it helps to explain how humans are able to attend to important information while ignoring irrelevant information. This is particularly important in situations where we need to focus on a task or complete a task in a timely manner. Another advantage of the filter model of attention is that it provides a framework for understanding how we are able to process information in complex environments. This is important because it helps us to understand how we can adapt to different environments and still maintain our ability to attend to important information. Disadvantages One of the main disadvantages of the filter model of attention is that it does not fully explain how we are able to attend to multiple sources of information at the same time. This is because the filter is designed to select only one source of information at a time. This means that the filter model of attention may not fully capture the complexity of attention in real-world situations. Another disadvantage of the filter model of attention is that it does not account for the role of motivation and emotion in attention. For example, if we are highly motivated to attend to a particular task, we may be able to filter out irrelevant information more effectively than if we were not motivated. Similarly, if we are in a highly emotional state, our filter may be more or less effective depending on the nature of the emotion. Criticisms One criticism of the filter model of attention is that it does not fully account for the role of memory in attention. For example, if we have previously attended to a particular piece of information, it may be more likely to pass through the filter than if it were completely new information. This suggests that memory may play a role in attention that is not fully accounted for by the filter model. Another criticism of the filter model of attention is that it does not fully account for the role of top-down processing in attention. Top-down processing refers to the idea that higher-level cognitive processes, such as expectations and prior knowledge, can influence the way we attend to information. This suggests that attention may be more complex than the filter model suggests. Conclusion in conclusion, Broadbent's filter model of attention is an important concept in psychology that helps us understand how humans are able to selectively attend to important information while ignoring irrelevant information. While the model has some advantages, such as explaining how we process information in complex environments, it also has some disadvantages and criticisms, such as not fully accounting for the role of memory and top-down processing in attention. Nevertheless, the filter model of attention remains a useful framework for understanding attention and how it operates in the human brain. Thanks for watching.